inclined to care. Lifting the Alleghenies to new heights. I'm Brendan Veeney. And I'm Quinn Spangler. Pennsylvania's Department of Education distributes over $6 billion to schools throughout the state annually. Which districts get the money and why has become a hotly contested issue throughout the state. So how did we get here? Former PA Secretary of Education Jerry Zahorchak says it all comes down to property taxes. We base a lot of our funding system for education in our state on property value, and that's where the inequities begin. Not in terms of the number of parcels, but in the terms of assessed value of properties, about 50% of the assessed value of Johnstown's properties is tax exempt. They're valuable properties, but they're not paying anything towards a tax. Amy Arcurio, Greater Johnstown School District Superintendent adds. If you don't have a significant tax base to tax, then that lessens the amount of funds that you can pull in from local resources. Property taxes are not the only issue. The amount of money available is not adequate to begin with. The lack of funding and its impact on a school district is pervasive. It's everywhere. It's why the schools look like they look. It's why the amount of teachers are what they are. It's everywhere. And this is not a new problem. In 2007, the state hired an outside consultant to evaluate whether school funding is adequate. The results were startling. This study was called the Augenblick study. Some people call it the costing out study. It turned out all but about 37 schools needed more funds. We're about four plus billion dollars short. The state began to increase its education budget in response to this study under former Governor Ed Rendell, but these allocations stopped under Governor Corbett in 2011. These budget cuts, combined with the method of allocating funds favoring districts with higher property values, led to a legal action called the Fair Funding Lawsuit. Attorney Dan Yervik Acklesberg describes the plaintiffs he represents. Six school districts, including Greater Johnstown, representing really a cross-section of district, rural, urban, and suburban, got together along with families, including a family from the Greater Johnstown School District, as well as the NAACP and an organization called the Pennsylvania Association of Rural and Small Schools. And the lawsuit is poised to have major ramifications. This is probably one of the biggest lawsuits in the history of our Commonwealth. The state overall is in good shape as far as education goes. It's just poor in equity. We have the worst equity gaps in the country, save in one or two other states. Some progress has been made under current Governor Tom Wolf. He has been including more funding for education in his proposed budgets, and in 2016, he even signed a fair funding formula bill into law. While this will create equitable distribution for new state funding, it does not address allocations that are currently in place. Despite these advances, equity issues remain. What we have is this dramatic difference between the haves, those with a lot of property wealth, so they can raise money for their schools, and the have-nots. Economic disparity strikes a personal note for Greater Johnstown teacher Vicki Thomas. I was working with a second grade student, and he completed a, a test. He looked at it, he said, can I throw this away? And I said, oh, absolutely not. You want to take that home, and you want to show it to your parents, and they'll probably want to put it on the fridge for you. And he said, we don't have one. And I said, well, you know, the place where you keep your milk. And he said, why would I want to put it on the cooler on the fire escape? Leveling the playing field is clearly essential for all students in Pennsylvania. Children that are educated are more likely to be productive members of society. Equity and making sure that every student has the same opportunity is the way that we make a change in our whole commonwealth. You know, education is essentially just the way that we as a society invest in our future fellow citizens. Education is the great equalizer. While school funding decisions are largely made in Harrisburg, there are plenty of ways ordinary people can get involved. Support the Greater Johnstown School District in this lawsuit. Greater Johnstown is working very hard on this. There's going to be days where teachers and the superintendent and the business manager of this school district are going to be in Harrisburg testifying about the needs of their community, and community members should come and support them. There should be buses from Johnstown to come support their community leaders. Community members can learn more about these buses and other vehicles of change at paschoolswork.org.
Inclined to Care was produced by students participating in the Community Foundation for the Allegheny's Youth Philanthropy Internship Program with support from the Saturday Light Brigade. All statements or opinions are those of the speakers and do not necessarily represent those of the Community Foundation for the Allegheny's or any collaborating organization. More information on the Youth Philanthropy Internship Program is available at www.cfalleghenies.org.